Hello everyone, GigaRaptor here, and this is the third episode of the Bavaria Let's Play, as you can probably tell. So, if you weren't there for the last couple, what we basically have done is we've annexed Salzburg, we've annexed Augsburg, and we've lost a bunch of Dosh to uh, Anhalt. Are they still at war? No, they're not. But anyway, they gained a bunch of Dosh off us, and then we crushed, uh, crushed Separatists in their various areas. So, we have any luck... We might we might go in Annex and back and back this time. Although I'm not entirely certain. I'm not entirely certain what's gonna happen. We might even go after Ravensburg. If they went ally to Austria. So yeah. Let me see. Uh so we've got we've got shitty Actually it's going down. I just wish we had some like manpower. Uh right. Aha! This seems like an interesting time. So what will we go for? There's a lot of them. So, from what I understand, from what I've read, the best the best for administrative, I think, was expansion. Although we're not going to be really using colonists, so we're going to pretty much ignore this, I think. Maybe religious ideas later on, when we become Protestant, or Reformed, or whatever I choose to become. Because obviously the wars of religion that turned apart, torn apart the um, Holy Roman Empire were pretty, you know, pretty significant. As for these, not going to touch exploration. You know, yeah, probably not going to touch exploration. Could go for trade ideas later on. Maybe, just maybe, maybe influence, but they're generally not that good. As for military, I think. Well, the best from what I've heard are quantity and offensive. And at the moment, we're kind of being a bit shit on manpower. So we're probably going to want quantity. And it's perfect because it increases our national manpower by 50%. So we'll feel that effect pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, so we'll see it go up to 15,000. I think that's independent of modifiers. So yeah, let's see. Levé en masse, so 50% extra to that, so that's not bad. Is it 50% on top of the, on top of those provinces? I'm not sure. But either way, it's still pretty decent. Not to mention the fact it has some pretty good ideas behind it as well. Nice. So that means we can have papal influence. I don't think we have a bloody chance of doing anything, so... Yeah, during Bohemia. Oh, great. Bohemia's the emperor. Just what we need. <laughs> Just when things couldn't get any worse. We can, afford to, we can afford to get rid of some legitimacy. So that's not such a bad thing. What's our, what are we doing? We're doing Royal Alliance and Marriage with Poland, Saxony, and Württemberg. And then we've got our allies with Mimigan and Ulm. So we could probably marry into Ulm. Maybe. Guess not. Oh, it's free city. What do free cities do? Oh, okay. Yeah, and can we marry to Mimigan? Nah, free city as well. That's kind of irritating. But we could marry into one of the like archbishopics. No, we can't. Oh no, we lost our <laughs> we lost our fucking um cardinal almost as soon as we gained him. That sucks. So, interesting deal with um, archbishopics, because I was reading about these archbishopics, and you'd think from now, you'd think from looking at the like the Catholic Church now, apart from you know the, you know the, the nastier bits. I think we all know what I'm talking about when I say that. But these, the people who became archbishops were elected, from what I understand, by by like the Bishop of Rome. The, the papacy and at least I think they were because like archbishopics I remember were controlled well I remember reading anyway that what happened in shit um, in England anyway was that after Mary the first became queen and she repealed the supremacy act of 1534 where basically Henry VIII said well I'm now king I'm now in charge of the Church of England bloody hell is that that was the that was the the 
that was the Palatinate army. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so basically what I understood is that, I understand is that bishops are appointed by Rome. Although, I think probably going to want me to marry Poland. Yeah, so what happened is that there was a lot of, like, obviously it wasn't, it didn't go to the holiest of the holy people. I mean, it does, it does to a more of an extent now, but even so, it's still not really, oh great, we're going to get, and of course Bohemia inherits all the, the good, all the good places. Poor old Austria, can't catch a break. So anyway, I'm sick of bloody doing that, so, like, you know, just interrupting what I'm saying. So, basically, I remember reading about Munster and all the sieges of that. And I recall reading that the archbishopic, the archbishop who was archbishop at the time of the Munster, like the siege of Munster, was far from a, you know, a good Catholic. He had something like, I think he had three wives? I'd have to get out my notes to see, but he had something like three or four wives, and he'd had like seven or eight legit illegitimate children, which, you know, ain't exactly a sparkling track record is it so oh god we're going to lose this one aren't we well that sucks yeah so yeah so he so these whole this whole idea of archbishops these archbishopics were hardly ruled over by holy people even though that's what they said they they were ruled over by some pretty you know mean people so, like, you know, people who you wouldn't really consider, like, the ideal Catholic. So, actually, I'm going to speed up a little bit. Uh, yeah, they weren't exactly the best Catholics on Earth. So, just thought I'd put that in there. Um, there's a little digression, you know? Wish manpower's higher. Uh... Yeah, so these these weren't very nice people. But isn't that always the way with power? Like, they're never there. Are hardly ever any nice people in power, are they? And that's why they're in power. So that's why I shot two. That's why I shot one. So I'm not going to march on there. Like a premisil is that, or tremisil? I can't remember how it's pronounced. But. Eh. Wait, can I build? No, I can't. That sucks. So I haven't even got standardised pikes yet. That's terrible. We can't afford advisors though. Go for that. Yeah, that sounds like a useful guy. Uh, spot fence, no. Um, let's see. Production efficiency, yearly prestige. Sounds like a plan to me. Um, I don't know. I think. Wait. How are these. How are these armies so big? Like, I never. Like, I'm used to like six or seven. Um, yeah, boost the stability of it. Good marching. Why not? Uh, I can always delete this. Another whack bar. And we've won, I think. Ha <laughs> ha! You never heard that bit. That bit I said. Alright. You never heard that. We're not going to go to the war with any of them. If anything, we should probably be improving relations with, with Bohemia. Ox Oxford? Um... <laughs> Austria, even, is still a pretty big threat, though. They fucking hate us. Conflict between Habsburg and Wittelbach. Oh, is that because of Poland? Might be. Because, obviously, royal families were... No, it's not. Is it? Who are they married to? England and the Palatinate. England, why did you marry into the Habsburgs? You remember what happened last time? Well, I suppose they don't because it's a hundred and... 
No, it's actually about 80 years in the future, but... You know, 84 years, I think it is. 1555? Yeah, about that. Yeah, didn't go too well about that. Like, Wyatt's Rebellion and all of that. Um... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as an excuse for another digression. So, Wyatt's Rebellion was basically to do with the fact that obviously Queen Mary had taken the throne of Britain or England, and one of the first things she did, well, one of the things she did was she married um, Philip von Habsburg, who was king of at that point not Spain, although it's written down in the history books it was a lot. But the personal union between Castile and Aragon, as you see here, these two countries, and I think as well, also, well, it's called the Spanish Netherlands, but it was really just the Duke. He held the Dukedom of Burgundy and inherited that as a von Habsburg, as his father had, and basically, Mary married, well, planned to marry Philip von Habsburg, and this really. Well, it really didn't set well with a lot of the, a lot of the gentry in particular, and a lot of the, a lot of the, well, I suppose, I suppose I might as well call them plebs. A lot of the people, a lot of people didn't like it for a variety of reasons. The two main being the fact that England was Protestant, in a sense. I mean, it was Protestant as its state religion, although. Although a lot of the population was still very, very Catholic, as is evidenced by the Western Rebellion that happened a couple of years before, but and a lot of the and like obviously the fact that she was pushing it very like the fact that Mary was pushing it back to being quite Catholic, well, completely Catholic because she repealed the act of act of supremacy, as I said. I think either this episode or last episode, I can't remember which one. Either way. Either way. So, they didn't like her marrying him because he was Protestant. No, because he was Catholic even. And because British people have never liked being controlled by foreign powers. That's why we That's why we hate the EU so much. Well, that's why a lot of people hate the EU. Except for those, like, those barking leftists who don't. But... We've always, we've never had a real, we've never really been particularly happy with foreign control. And you, you even see this as far back as William the Conqueror with the various rebellions, even though they failed. So basically what happened is that a bunch of different people promised rebellions. A bunch of different, like, like you know, these kind of high gentry people. And one particular one, I think his name was Thomas Wyatt, led a rebellion out of Kent. Which, although, which had kind of had somewhat of a history, isn't worth doing that. No, it's not. Um, Kent had had an interesting history because before even the Reformation had happened, there'd been a very strong sort of middle kind of proto middle class core of these people called Lollards, who you might have seen in the game. Uh, I think it says Lollard heretics here. No, it's Waldesians. Either way, that was. I think it's. I think there's Lollard. There's there's Lollard somewhere. I know I've seen it. I've seen it in the game. So, ooh, prestige like a motherfucker. Uh, so, as I was saying, there was quite a strong core of Lollards in Kent who basically wanted the Bible translated into English. From I think it was his name was Henry Wycliffe. It was definitely his surname was definitely Wycliffe, and they basically wanted independence from they basically wanted the translations of the bible into english they weren't quite as they weren't quite maybe as as anti-papist as someone as some groups like the cathars but they were definitely not pro you know they weren't they definitely weren't you know very very catholic they weren't they weren't like that but Anyway, so basically what happened is I've probably taken far longer than I should have on this. But really they the this this man, this Wyatt, led about five thousand soldiers to attack to attack London basically and get rid of Mary because she was marrying Philip. And they um they failed very badly. 
what happened is that they tried to cross over, I think, over like London Bridge, but they, but the Queen managed to convince people to, to cl the people of London to close on the bridge. So what they did is they went to what is now the South End, and they got completely hammered. <laughs> the the, the five thousand odd like peasants who White had led up from Kent just got completely boozed up. And then they went for another bridge near what is now, well, what was, I think it even was then still Richmond. And they crossed there, and while they'd been getting hammered for about a week, Mary had had chance to gather up support. She she had a pretty powerful army, and Wyatt didn't stand a chance, and so they got completely massacred, and him, and, like, Wyatt got ex executed. Also, right, which one did I choose? Uh, no, I won't. I will go for them. Uh, so anyway, White got executed, but a lot of people also get executed. It's kind of credited as the time when Mary goes a wee bit crazy. Uh, so, so basically, the previous queen, who was wait, have I still got that menu? Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Uh, so, yeah, the previous queen, who was Lady Jane Grey, and her husband, Guilford Dud Dudley, who was related, who was actually the, I think he was the youngest son of, well, John Dudley, who is, like, this, the namesake of the channel. Uh, him and her were beheaded. They were, they were cut up, and Wyatt was hung, drawn, and quartered. And I believe, I seem to believe a lot of other people were killed as well. And basically, she made this really stupid mistake, Mary. She made the mistake that, from her support from the people of London and the and the general repulsion of the rebellion, that she believed that England to be a completely Catholic nation, which simply was not the case, even though a majority of people were Catholic. And so she started burning Protestants. She hadn't burnt any before, from what I understand. Um, but she started burning a lot more after that. I think she burned somewhere between 200 and 400 Protestants. Like, I'm playing a game for God's sake. I'm not going to remember like the exact statistics. But she killed a very large amount of Protestants. Although she just killed lay people, which was kind of a bit thick. Uh, can I actually cancel that out? Yes, I can. That's cool. Anyway. Socian heretics? What the fuck? Where is that from? Um, oh, in there. So, yeah, as I was saying, makes that thing We're gonna go for manpower. Uh, what's I saying? Yeah. So she started. She started. That's why she's called Bloody Mary because she believed that England was a Catholic nation after the response of the people of London to her to her pleas to stop White White's rebellion and. That's what, in the end, like you know, led to the deaths of many, many Protestants. I completely wasted that, didn't I? Uh, roughly on terms of France, basically. So, look at my France. That's not bad. Wouldn't mind that. And marrying to France as well. Yeah. So, so basically, that one miscalculation could have potentially screwed up the entirety of Queen Mary's rule in the eye of a lot of people although the very fact that she was Catholic and a lot of people view England as a fundamental well England as a fundamentally Protestant nation kind of like decries her in the eyes of other people as well but that is definitely where she gained the worst of her her kind of reputation from this Right, I'm, just, I'm gonna fuck off back to Augsburg. Uh, Frittenberg? That's back. Let's see, where is. Frittenberg is. Here, there we are. So we know they're all with. Who are they all with? Frittenberg? Oh, Mimigan. Why not? Yeah, we, are, we outnumber them quite significantly. So we're gonna we're gonna waltz in there and help them out.
Yeah, we beat them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna take um, hands back with any luck. So yeah, just a warning to anybody who's gonna rule a country: don't defeat a rebellion and suddenly decide that your people are behind you, like one hundred percent because of their religion, when that obviously isn't the case. And it walks in there and beat them up. Yeah, so I'll hopefully beat these guys up. Oh shit! Miscalculation, the sentry right there. <laughs> can we call them in? We can't call them in, can we? Uh, we can probably still win. But it would probably be most wise to put our soldiers in Bansbach, where they can't with the strength. With the main strength of our of our friendos, you know. Because last thing ah, it's a bit late now. Right, they're gonna fuck. Those cunts. Um <laughs> Fuck off Poland. Get away from hands back, you twats and help us out. Yeah, if yeah they yeah if they just to beat you just get rid of Nuremberg you toss you todgers you tossers. Oh, at least we've got a decent king now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like him. You stupid fucks. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not very happy with with the AI right now. You can probably understand. They... What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Wait, have we got Fulsberg now? Whereas, no, Fulsberg's just being very opportunistic about this, I think. So yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to call this an episode. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.